Hi everyone, I thought I'd talk about a subject I see come up in it, which is um, setting up throttle blinking on downshift. So you actually don't need that much extra stuff to set up, so I'll just show you what you need and how it works. So first of all, you need a manual transmission. Um, you need a vehicle speed sensor, obviously, um, and you need to set the gear detection type as gear ratio. Um, once you've done that, you can go through driving the car in each of the gears, hit calibrate, um, and make sure that the um, when that works, this channel here, gear, should reflect the gear that you're currently in. Um, you then also need to set up flat shift. The whipping is part of the flat shift function, which is maybe a bit of a confusing name, but here we are. And then once you get into there, um, you enable a throttle blip, enable the rev match limiter, and what that does is that actually um, is the ECU will actually target the RPM of the um, for the new gear that you're about to select. Um, so the way it does this is that if you're in a certain gear, let's say in fifth gear, for argument's sake, um, if it sees you press the brake and the clutch together, so whether you brake first and then clutch, or you clutch and then brake, um, it's the same, um, the ECU will think that you're changing down the gear. So it will um, consider the target gear to be fourth gear, so five minus one. Um, and then um, it will calculate what the target RPM should be for the current vehicle speed in fourth gear. Um, so when it does that, um, and it's, I'll explain this in a second, but when it thinks that your foot's on the clutch, it'll whip the throttle um, to this percentage that you set here. Um, for a maximum duration of this, but might be less. Um, and then when it hits that target RPM, it'll bring the throttle back at this rate here, 50% per second. So I normally have this figure pretty high. What that means is that when the um, RPM hits the target amount, throttle closes pretty quickly, um, then you can engage the new gear. You select that as a lower um, a, a lower value, so it brings back the throttle more gently. Um, then it'll hold that RPM higher for longer. But the trouble is that when you um, then engage the next gear, that can be a bit, a bit clunky. So I do it this way, but it suits my driving style. Um, now this gear tolerance table, this is because um, on many factory cars, the factory clutch switch is set to activate um, when the pedal is actually quite high. And I assume that that's because they want to disable the cruise control if you just dab the clutch pedal. So the problem is that um, you can press the clutch pedal enough to activate the switch but there's still a lot of drive still happening. So if the ECU actually lifts the throttle then, it'll push the car forward, which is quite a nerve. So um, this gear tolerance enable um, means that the RPM has to drop by that percentage um, for the ECU to consider that you've got your foot on the clutch before it will actually blip the throttle. So 5%, I find that works all right. Um, a higher percentage um, will mean that you, you've got a, um, sorry, with a lower percentage, you can have situations where you're slipping the clutch, but there is still some drive there, but you can still drop the RPM that amount, uh, which means you do need to be quite deliberate with your clutch application. A higher figure here gets around that, but then it can also mean that um, it takes a long time for the revs to drop that amount to actually do the blip. Downstream, you can map that though against um, total position or RPM or gear or whatever if you want to, it's a table. Um, yeah, and that's it basically. So I'll just show you a log of um, of um, one of the test cars. So the red here is the RPM, and the blue is vehicle speed. So, um, and the green one here is the gear. So as an example, um, here we're in fifth gear, um, and I'm slowing down, and um, here's where I put my foot on clutch. You can tell that because the, um, uh, the RPM's dropped. Um, but then when the RPM drops, um, it goes into the throttle loop state here. So that guy comes up and the RPM increases to, um, it overshoots a little bit, um, but it's the 
uh, can let you name the fourth gear. So then we're going to take off the bike latch here, kind of throw off the latch here in the fourth gear. Um, the OPM is nice. Um, now I do the same thing again here, I pull off the clutch, you can see the revs start to drop there. Um, the yellow, which is the throttle, um, gets applied by the ECU. Um, the pedal hasn't been applied, that, that pink line there, that's just at the bottom there. You can see the revs increase, they overshoot a little bit of where it needs to be for third gear. Um, then I take my foot off the clutch and the revs are nice, nice and much there, now it says they're in third gear. Um, one thing that you can notice is um, the engine mounts probably need to be replaced on this car because you can see the wiggle here in the RPM here when I put my foot on the throttle here and when I take my foot off the throttle here. Um, but there's still very little wiggling that you get when you're actually engaged in the new gear. Um, so after that I go up to fourth gear here, which looks all nice, and again down to third gear again. Um, so again, pull off it looks like I'm slowing down faster here because I've stayed there. Um, put it off of my clutch here, revs, you know, spring up just like the next two. Take the foot off the clutch, it's all happy. So that requires um, really no tuning. Like you see, I've just got a fixed amount there of 30%. And the UC just works out when it needs to turn off based on the, um, uh, the ratios of different gears. And same with the duration, by the time it gets to the gear, pulls the throttle back, so the duration doesn't actually matter that much. Um, so all in all, that's, um, that's what I like to set up, things where the actual values don't matter that much. It's pretty robust, and um, the heavy lifting is actually done by the algorithm. Uh, so yeah, all you really need for that is a brake switch, clutch switch, vehicle speed, a drive-by wire. I think that's it. Cool. Thank you, everyone.